Hi, I'm Popemeister and welcome to my second prediction video of the World Cup 2018 Russia knockout stage. This match is between Uruguay and Portugal and let's see who wins according to FIFA 18. I hope they're having the right stadium here but I'm letting the computer play against itself and let's see if it's right. I will check every result later, see how many rights it actually got, because we're covering the whole knockout stages from, from the beginning to the final. And even the third place match, so let's begin. Oh, they didn't get... They're written right, but that's not the most important thing. Let's just see if it can get the right resolved. I will worth. mute the mi It'll mic when the match is on. Yeah, it, it will be so, interesting yeah, you will hear react. more from me in the half time. International scene, so nerves might play a part. Uh, you either settle quickly for your country or it takes a bit of time. We'll see what's the case here. A main game for you. From the FIFA World Cup, it's Uruguay against Portugal. Number 15, Matthias Pacino. Number 9, Luis Suarez. And number 21, Edinson Cavani. And now it's time for the national anthems. Portugal with uh, a wonderful football history, of course. They did win the Euros in 2016, we talked about that. I remember 1966 when they pushed England all the way in England for the World Cup and actually finished third. Had a fantastic campaign led by Eusebio. Yeah, he was a huge name, wasn't he, in Portugal football. And if Ronaldo's a hero now, he was just as big a star back then. This is Uruguay's lineup. Fernando Muslera starts in goal. Jose Maria Jimenez plays with Diego Godin as the centre back. In attack, Luis Suarez starts. He's been in tremendous form recently. One thing to look out for from this team today is the way they try and win the ball back within seconds of losing it. Yeah, and they don't do it individually. They get backed up by a teammate. They hunt in packs, and you've got to do that. You've got to do it with discipline. And the kickoff uh, has got the game underway with the Portugal very prominent. Ronaldo getting forward well as a team now in comes the challenge Luis Suarez Cavani Orsino well they're in a good position here no not that way at all, actually. William Cavallo. Luis Suarez. I don't think anybody will work harder in this tournament. <laughs> we know how hard these players work at this level. He's a real workaholic. Yeah, I wouldn't expect to see him give those defenders a second in possession. He'll be... João Mario! numbers in this attack and it looks dangerous and now the shot and he 
keep possession with that header. Looks the goalkeeper in the eye. He's way off target. Guided on by his head. And they've got the ball still. Cavani. And here's the shot. Good stop by the goalkeeper. Now Adrian Silva. A good control under pressure. And the attack coming from Portugal. Cristiano Ronaldo. He's got his shot off now. They're going to get a corner here because of that deflection. Baresma. That could have been a penalty. Let's get that slide tackle absolutely right. Messino. Here's Adrian Silva. So we've got a corner coming up. Fire that tackle. Top class save and top class camera work here. It was, I'm sure the striker thought he'd scored there. Corner played in. Time to hit the corner and the man at the. Good reach by the goalkeeper to tip it over the bar. Well, I know it's your job to score goals, Alan, but what about the goalkeeper here stopping a goal? Got to admire it. On his toes. Put the corner in the middle. Well, that's straight at the goalkeeper, and the attacking team would be annoyed with that. Sino. Rodriguez. Steered through. Cavani in the clear. Cavani. Fine save he's made there. And he's not let the ball escape his grasp. Cáceres. Good defending. Pepe. Andre Silva. Caresma. Now this looks promising. Andre Silva. Guiding it through. All about picking the right pass now as he cuts it back. saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it that's good movement forward here Jose Font Caresma here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition shots on here well he's cleared the danger Caresma Cavani. Nice bit of interplay between these two. Play forward, a bit of menace in this attack. Suarez! He's made the save. Sanchez. Edison Cavani. Christian Rodriguez. Promising build up until that challenge. Andre Silva. Ronaldo. Trying to 
stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. And strongly, Sanchez. Luis Suarez. Here's Font. Cristiano Ronaldo. It's really passive play at the moment by the defending team. Could be dangerous. Here's Varela. Luis Suarez. Edison Cavani. Came in with the challenge and the ball broke free. Cavalli. The referee has decided to add on two minutes. On to Ronaldo. And the attack coming from Portugal. Andre Silva! And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. Half time. Okay, so that was the first half. <laughs> uh, really few shots, at least from good, good positions. In my opinion, Cavani and Suarez could have done much better from their opportunities. So really, Uruguay could have could have had a lead. Yeah, and Ronaldo has been almost invisible. He has to step this up. That's the best thing, in my opinion, he did. So I'm not satisfied with him. Yeah. So let's hope for a better second one. Oh, four free shots on target and six five shots off uh, or total shots. Fifty five percent possession. Yeah. Really not that much. Let's see if they could step up the game in a second, and I'll be back after the match is done. for a throw. Pepe. Here's Cedric Suarez. Caresma. Aldo. Shot off. Got in the way. Edison Cavani. Well, they could pose some danger now. Looking for teammates in the middle. Defended well. Luis Suarez. Edison Cavani. I like the look of that's the keeper's ball from the moment the cross left his foot. Cavani. Luis Suarez. That looked dangerous until he made the interception. Now Adrian Silva. they've got a chance in this part of the pitch tackle goes in Cavani able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement now 
Now this looks promising. Here's the shot from distance. Well, nowhere near. Uh, he was a long way out. Yeah, I think that's a waste to try his luck from there. It's going to be a change for Portugal. in this attack and it looks dangerous Sanchez Vecino offside that's an easy decision well it's going to be a substitution now Cavani. That's a wonderful tackle. Casino. An attack. Suarez! Whoa, that's flown over the bar. Oh, the crowd were up on their feet there. It's a spectacular effort. It's action on the Portugal bench with the substitutes. Cavalier and Ronaldo Sanchez Edison Cavani that's great defending there stopping that attack that's out tackle here here's Fox now get at it. Ronaldo. Reddit. Andre Silva. Throw in here. Silver. Now the shot. Oh, that's great. And the wait is over. It's a fine goal. They've worked away at the opposition. And now they've got their reward. Nicely taken. And patience has paid off finally. Goalkeeper almost got there. But it wasn't a strong enough touch. Yeah, he's annoyed with himself, isn't he? Having got a touch on it, feels he should have done better. Pleasure for Portugal, they've got this lead. Jimenez. Here's Cedric Suarez. Just cleared downfield, not a proper pass because the pressure is so intense. Here's a chance to attack. And here's the shot. And that shot's blocked very quickly. We're going to get a corner here because of that deflection. In goes the corner. Cavani! They've equalised.
great goal. Well, they've got power, they've got height, and when the corner's that accurate, only one end result. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? Almost a 10 out of 10. Uh, certainly a candidate for man of the match. He's not going to play the whole match, though. Going to be substituted here now. Yeah, he was involved in most things that were good here for his team. Top class. So, away we go at one all. Here's Font. And Ronaldo. Portugal attacking now. Excellent work with the tackle. The shot's on! So late in the game, and the keeper keeps it level. Well, there's still something in this for this team, thanks to the goalkeeper. Corner played in. Ronaldo. Reached by the goalkeeper to tip it over the bar. It could tip the balance now if they take the corner right. And here comes the corner. I must say the defender <laughs> took a chance and got away with it. Guerrero. Adrian Silva. It's Bernardo Silva. The, fourth official is the ball has gone up to indicate three added minutes. Three minutes. That's good movement forward here. Oh, he could be in. Shot off. And it's off the post and behind. Well, that's it. It's level at the end of 90 minutes. Okay, so that's full time. <laughs> we took one goal, two goals total, but one goal from William in Portugal and one really interesting goal from Cavani. That was. I haven't seen a lot of those goals. I don't think anybody will work harder in this tournament. And uh, Ronaldo actually did uh, more things in this half, so yeah. It was really unlucky there in the end to put in the post, but yeah, let's see if we could actually extend this match now. So I don't know if what to do. Uh, classic is that 250. Hey, let's try it. If it doesn't work, you have to do another video. So let's get it on. I could see this happen. I have started that. I could see this happen in real life today between the teams, and it goes to. Over time, yeah. Let's see, and I you hear from me more of, uh, after this first half of the overtime. Well, the coaches here have had their say. Both teams back in position now. We're looking rather tired as we finish regulation time, but I am sure we'll be revitalised for the extra period we're underway. Attacking well here. That's a wonderful tackle. Promising from Portugal, they've got the ball back. And now he's looking for some support. Darting infield now. And shoots! That will be a goal kick.
regret it. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. I need to try and get the ball back now. William Cavalli. Adrian Silva. To take the lead. That's a very good goal. Well, they've taken the low route here, and they've got themselves a goal well out of the keeper's reach. Well, they look pleased with themselves, and no wonder the way they've stroked the ball about and created the finish, picked out the spare man in the box. Well, it's a goal, and I don't think it'll be the last one they score today, the way they're playing. Oh, and the opposition is all over the place, just no semblance of organisation from them. Pleasure for Portugal, they've got this lead. Diego Godin. Vecino. Here's a chance to attack. And he gives it back to it. Tackle goes in. On to Ronaldo. It's Bernardo Silva. He's beaten his man. He's through here. Well, only two more minutes to be added on by the referee now. And the attack coming from Portugal. It's lovely to watch the ball being passed with this sort of level of play, Alan. It's the understanding, the tech. Now the shot! Shot's blocked very quickly. Been a really good match this. And we reached the end of the first half of extra so time. So after the first half of extra time. We had one goal from Portugal, it's 2-1. I could see that happening too, but I'm really disappointed at Ronaldo still. In one way, yeah. Oh, they have taken over this match. 8-4 shots and 15-9, oh, okay. Nice. Passing accuracy is really good at both, both teams, in my opinion. So, let's see what the other overtime half has to give us and then I will be back again and you will have my thoughts about the whole game we're gonna have 15 intense minutes here that's all that's left of extra time second period underway Castells. Godin. Coming on strong, looking to play their way through now. And they've cut it out. Andre Silva. William Cavalier. In quickly. Still as we are on the scoreline. But there's still time, even this late in the game, for a twist to the tail. Well, now they've got the ball, what are they going to do with it? Good vision here. Needs to stay cool now. Gamutinho! Oh, they could have increased their advantage then. Yeah, I think that would have been game over. It should have been really from that distance. Casino. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement.
strange game at the moment. The attacking team having all the ball, but not really making many... Caceres! Well, by their standards, that was uh, sloppy defending. They've done well up to this point. Well, they have done well, but uh, one or two worrying warning signs, I think. They're not pressing the player on the ball quite quickly enough with enough aggression. Bernardo Silva. Now with a chance. What an opportunity to wrap up the match. Oh, yeah. That's what you need to be in these situations. Clinical. Have no mercy. They just didn't show it there. Time is two minutes. Two minutes. And it's time. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. <laughs> that is the finish. Yeah, the that's the, that's the match. Time. And Portugal won two to one. And uh, yeah, the second half of the extra time. Kasseres uh, really should have scored, and in my opinion, Moutinho should have scored too. Sorry about that slow thing, I'm not really. I'm just thinking about the game also. Yeah. So, yeah, it was two pretty even teams. In my opinion, and they, it, 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 in my opinion, it will be pretty tough to get a winner this evening too. And here we see the goal from Portugal again. Nice shot, really nice. Let's see if we can get a goal from Uruguay here. Oh. That was really weird shot. Nice, but really weird. Unexpected, really unexpected. And here comes Portugal. One of Portugal's shots and goal. Pretty good shot. But yeah, there we have it, guys. In my, uh, but I f actually well, think it will be overtime Ronaldo. tonight, and after that, three-one to Portugal. They will do two on overtime. So yeah, let's see tonight, and I will be back with more knockout stage matches and uh, more predictions. This was just the first day, so I will see you next time, and please leave a like and consider subscribing. That's all from me, Hopemeister. Bye.